I don't expect anyone to believe this. I, I don't even know if I believe it myself. I can't trust my eyes anymore. Even when I sleep. I haven't slept in days. But when I do, I hate what I see. Somewhere between the dimension of life and death. Somewhere between the unexpected and the unexplained are the forces beyond human understanding. Disrupted. But if you tell them what you know, the laws of existence have been violated. But I warn you, as the hunger grows, my control will surely weaken. And if it weakens, what is it you think might happen? It will be a damnable mess. slave to history and to time. I have finally conquered the last extremity, death. Very large quantities of meat and blood are required. Beware the marriage of the flesh, for that which is taken hath a desire of its own return, even if it be sucked from the operator's very bones. When suddenly the skeleton is reconstituted, the operator is pulled asunder as the flesh he useth to restore himself returneth to its rightful owner. What's he talking about? He's talking about bringing people back from the dead. John, that's fucking insane. That bastard wanted to live forever, and this is his immortality lab. Yeah, right. Don't you understand what's going on down here, Lonnie? He beat death.
struck depths that your little brain cannot fathom. My researches have led me far beyond eternity. I have drawn down demons from the stars. I have harnessed the shadows that stride from world to world to sow death and madness. I have designs whereby the earth, nay, the very stars themselves, can move at my command. Time and cosmos belong to me, Mr. March. The destinies of all things, living and dead.